you, you're all familiar with condensation. Condensation happens in mornings, it dew forming. Water from the air condenses and forms from a vapor to a liquid. Uh, condensation on car windows, on your saucepan lids when you're heating water. So when water is produced, we call it a condensation reaction. So basically two molecules, two molecules combine, producing a larger molecule and a molecule of water. So there's two major ones we're going to look at. One is also called an esterification reaction. And this is the forming of an ester. And to do that, we use a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. So a carboxylic acid plus an alcohol Usually you need uh, something like sulfuric acid to help it go along and you produce an ester plus a water molecule. So for instance if we have ethanol and react it with propanoic acid we form ethyl propanoate and water. The alcohol becomes the prefix and the acid becomes the root. So the water molecule comes from the OH of the carboxylic acid portion and the H of the alcohol. So this is what we form. This portion here is from the carboxylic acid and the other portion is from the alcohol. So there's your ester. Ethyl propanoate and a molecule of water. Another type of condensation reaction happens when an amide forms from an amine and a carboxylic acid. So you have an amine plus a carboxylic acid. You produce an amide and a water molecule. So for example, if we have ethanoic acid, common name of this, is acetic acid. So if we have ethanoic acid and we react it with ammonia, which can be written like this, what will happen is the OH and one of the H's react to form water and the amide is produced. So this is F and amide and we form a water molecule. 
uh, that you can build polymers this way using amide bonds. And in fact, this type of bond forms a very, cru very crucial polymers for us. This is how we form proteins. We have amino acids that join together in amide bonds to form proteins, and when that happens, they're called peptide bonds. So a peptide bond is an amide bond between amino acids. Hydrolysis reactions are basically the opposite of condensation reactions. So what happens is we use a molecule of water to break apart a large molecule of course it needs a catalyst so for instance if you have um, an ester you react it with water and and a catalyst, you will form an alcohol and a carboxylic acid. So, if we react something like propyl ethanoate, we will form propanol and ethanoic acid.